Another night on the side of the road. Yep, we made it to T-Call, um, but Bernie's not allowed in. So that checks out, another par for the course today. And um, so we're gonna sleep out in the parking lot, out in the restaurant parking lot tonight. And you know, parking lot, pimping. And we'll get up in the morning, take the scooter in, leave Bernie in the van, and uh, go and enjoy it for an hour or two if we can, and then head back and out of Guatemala we go. In and out. <laughs> oh, honestly. After a long hero's journey of crossing the border into Guatemala, we headed straight to Tikal. We could get a hold of the campground, but no dogs allowed, so. No dogs. <laughs> As you can tell, a little under the weather. So hopefully tomorrow my voice is back, but we're gonna have to find a parking spot to leave the van where we can go in and see to call tomorrow and then we'll just take the scooter in. So extra set of wheels for the win, but um, not really loving the fact that we're just sleeping at the entrance of the park tonight. Seems pretty safe though. The guys are really nice. So we got our own security. <laughs> what are we cooking with no power, you might ask? We are making basically like a vegetarian fried rice. Yeah, something super easy. We got frozen peas and carrots to make it even easier. And we're just gonna toss some stuff together with rice and call it a night. Good morning. Okay, they're playing music outside. Tour buses are arriving. So we're gonna go find a better parking spot. You can't come. You can't come. <clears throat> Hopefully we have enough money to get in, so we gotta check that first. <laughs> Morning. Just counting money. I know that there's some in the glove box. I already checked. Did you pull it out? Yeah, that's all we got. So all we have is 300 gets all, I mean, or technically 295. Yeah, and it's 300 to get in. <sighs> Let's go check. All right, so now it's time to go find some tickets wherever the ticket office is and see if we can pay with a card because we don't have a lot of quetzales left. What's going on? We're going into Tikal at some point. We got our tickets online. I was able to get our tickets online, so that was a good thing. Um, at least now we have some cash whenever we get out of Tikal to buy some lunch or do whatever, or whatever it is that we decide to do. And maybe we should just pay for a tour guide, honestly. Guide service probably a smart thing to do because it's a big it's a big big land big plot big ruin jesus i cannot think this morning coffee first oh it, it is yes coffee first welcome to our gorgeous campground had a bit of a struggle last night had to sleep on the side of the streets because dogs are not allowed and because we we're camped outside of the gates, we are actually what 17 kilometers from the <laughs> yeah ruins? from yeah from the ruins. So we're gonna hop on the scooter this yeah. morning. Thank God we have the scooter because we cannot hike that. Yeah. Um, I guess we can pay for like a tour guide or something. But the dog thing is like a serious issue at Tikal. If you have a dog, yeah. they won't let you in a campground. They won't let you in at all within like. 17 kilometers of the ruins oh, well and that's like of the entrance of the ruins yeah. so and then you have to walk around them so yeah we got a scooter we're gonna boogie in early this morning and then you know spend a couple hours as quickly as we can yeah. and then bounce out of there so our, our couple nights into call has been condensed to a few hours <laughs> um, uh, but we're gonna crush it let's go see uh let's go check it out yeah all right And we're here. Woohoo! All right, that was actually a fun ride. I was cold. It was chilly, but honestly, it was a fun ride. Scooter for the wind. 
third time we get checked. Yeah, this is a this is a process to get your tickets checked and get in. Honestly. We're one hill in, and I'm already tired, so. <laughs> Why we didn't take the long way. <laughs> What's this one called? Oh no, you got the map. I don't know why I have this. I'm useless. Okay. <sighs> I don't know where we are. All right. <laughs> the maps are not very clear. You definitely need a tour guide here. All right, let's see what you can do. Here is a point, here is a map. Let's see how well you can figure out where you are. Hmm. <laughs> I think we found it. See where all the good stuff is? Right up in here. Um, there's a bunch of great pyramids around here. Apparently, there's a bunch of really big ones right up here in the main plaza. So, let's get the big ones uh, knocked out of the way while the sun's. Yep, we're gonna go see the cool shit first because why wait? Yep. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Okay, what do we think so far? Uh, it's really cool, honestly. Being able to like walk through the jungle and see all sorts of animals, that's one thing most other places lack other than Palenque. Like Palenque, you can see some animals for sure. And There like, was howler monkeys in Belize. I mean, yes, but you, they, you, but you didn't see them. Like, they didn't really like come out. Like, don't get me wrong, like that jungle spot, we probably would have seen some monkeys and stuff. But not here. This is. I totally disagree. I think there's panthers and toucans and all sorts of stuff in Belize. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. It's not like it's that far away. But, but I mean, this place is really nice. I mean, this how about the awesome. ruins? The ruins are really cool. They're, I mean, this is really cool. This is, hey, this or Palenque is definitely going to be my top top favorite now. Wow. That says Temple 2. This says Temple 1, right here. Temple 2 is this, the one that we're standing on. Oh, yep. Don't fuck with me, Jake. I don't know which one the Jaguar Temple is. It's the one on the front of the car. You've been lost all day. Don't come at me like yeah, that. You can see that temple right there peeking out? So let's go check it out. That's number three. And I still hear the toucan. I'm honestly more interested in the toucans than anything right now. <laughs> they really make you work for it here at Tikal. Everything is super spread out. You're basically just hiking through the jungle the whole time, which is its own fun adventure. Uh, but yeah, be prepared to spend a lot of time hiking and climbing. You probably need two days here. <laughs> All right. We're almost there though. Okay. I don't feel well. I'm making fun of my... Look who's, str look who's struggling now. Yeah, I'm sick. Oh. I haven't eaten in like two days. This is, this is a cool experience. 
All right. This is now my new favorite room <laughs> that I've seen. For sure. Jake likes them rugged. I like them manicured. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do like them rugged. I do. That is very true. It's like deep in the bush and you have to like actually like go back and like work for it. Like this is feels more authentic. Yeah, for real. This place is cool. I like it. Check out I haven't crossed over any like little creeks and rivers yet though, which <laughs> which I'm hoping for. Check out this view. Oh yeah, that sounds real nice. <laughs> oh no, Jake found another tree. <laughs> Actually, I think the one in Palenque is a little bit cooler than this one. It's to the right. Actually, the one in Palenque is cooler than this one. Okay. She's been looking for this toucan for a solid about five minutes and you can hear it. It's straight up overhead and I bet she hasn't found it yet. Oh, there it is. Do you see it? So did you finally find it? Yeah, he's a little camouflage, okay? It's loud, but hidden. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> What'd you find out? The Great Priest Temple. Two, temple three. Temple three. Two feet five meters. It's the Jaguar Priest. Which one's the really tall one? I thought it was Temple 4. Temple 4 is the really tall one. Yep. Now we gotta work for it a little bit. <laughs> we found the stairway to heaven, which is gonna take us all the way to the top of the highest temple here in Tikal, um, Temple 4. So let's get to walking. 65 meters. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Get your legs ready. Let's go. Shorts don't fail me now. <laughs> I'm already tired. Did forget she was sick earlier, but this is up. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of that hike that we did in Squamish. It's nothing but stairs it's all the way up. Bad. No, no, no. The Squamish hike is much harder than this. Can see someone on every single temple. Yeah. So when they were popping off, they would, they would have parties from temple to temple and be like, "Yo, bro!" <laughs> you can see what's going on over here. Pretty cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, this place is gargantuan. <laughs> yeah, this place is huge. You could definitely spend two days here, easy. Yeah, it's really a bummer that we weren't able to spend the night right next to the park. Oh, watch your step move over. Oh. Um, cause Cuidado. <laughs> it is a, it, it definitely, Bernie is hindering us big time on this one. I think we would have enjoyed it more if we could be more relaxed and spend as much time as we wanted here. Yeah, this was a quick ruin visit. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. We still spent probably almost three hours here. Yeah, and we we haven't sat down. We're just walking around, hitting them one after the other. Yeah, it's we're a, moving and grooving. Not a lot of time to like learn and explore it the way that we want to. Yeah. So if you do come here, don't bring your dog. <laughs> Tip number one, don't bring your dog. <laughs> definitely stay in the park if you can. Yeah. And get a tour guide, because this is supposed to, probably, of all the ruins we've been to, this is probably one of the best ones to get a tour guide. Yeah, I, I second that, for and, sure. And don't miss out on the smaller temples, the one with a 360 view, oh my god. Yeah. That's the best one. It's the best viewing platform, for sure. Ever. And you get to see, literally, all, a good majority, definitely all of the tall uh, temples in one <laughs> shot, so it's... 
definitely definitely hit that one. Yeah, and just like Palenque, this one's like really embedded in the jungle, so it feels like such an authentic, like yeah. undiscovered ruin experience. It's yeah. really fun. Yeah, it definitely feels like you're walking through the cherry hills and finding new discovered ruins. Like it's it's pretty cool. And monkeys along the way. Yeah. Next Looks up, like dinner. Next up on the animal bingo card is a turkey. It's like a peacock turkey. Bernie would lose her mind. I'm ready for some scooter breeze Ooh. up in my hair. Cool my ass off and then we're making smoothies. So pretty excited about that. Hola. Look at that shaded parking. Boom. Nice cool butt on the rod back. And more ways than one. Woo! Let's get rolling. I need that breeze, baby. Let's hit it. See you later, Tika. Yeah. It was way too fast, but uh, at least we were able to visit it in the time that we had. Maybe we'll be back one day for this one. And we're back. And we're back. Welcome to our glorious campground. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> parking lot, parking. Let's go get married here. Bolting out. All right, bike is up, smoothies are made. Woo! Progress. We're moving forward today. Look at this. Whew, God. It's hot out there, Bernie. <laughs>